Hello and welcome back to Spookier Celluloid. And today it's Saturday, and Saturday is the time where I take it, relax, I chill, and I just basically watch movies all day to catch up to this week, which I didn't really have time to watch that many movies, even though I watched two. Anyways, today I'm talking about The Gates of Hell 2. Now you're probably like, what? I never thought that Lucio Fulci made a sequel to his infamous film The Gates of Hell? Well, no, it's not exactly. It's not directed by Fulci. Now you're probably like, okay, so it's probably just a, an Italian trying to rip off Lucio Fulci. You'd be wrong again. No, this is a film from the United States that has nothing to do with The Gates of Hell or Lucio Fulci or any Italian production for that matter. And the real title is, of course, Through the Fire... Uh, this is from 1988, and if I'm not mistaken, yes it is, and it is a regional horror film. Now, there in the last few years, there have been a few blanket terms that people or releasing companies have just been throwing around like it's nothing, like folk horror and, of course, regional horror, but this is pretty much regional horror. So this was made in Texas in the 80s, and it's basically all actors, all the crew, everybody is from the region of Texas. And uh, it's a story that has some elements of um, Fulci-esque or Italian, not really Fulci-esque, but like late 80s Italian films, but that's mainly at the end. So to quickly synop to, to tell you a quick synopsis of this film, it's a satanic panic piece. Uh, from the 80s, because that was booming at the time, and it's a uh, a group of Satanists accidentally uh, ra um, raise a, a evil demon from somewhere, probably not the grave. Anyways, that evil demon goes on a killing spree, and during that time, a police officer brings back a drunk woman that was being disruptive to her house, and then she calls him the next day and ask her, ask him to help him to find the sister. We later find out that the sister was uh, in this group that was, I guess, hunting down hunting down demons and the occult and she has a necklace that um that if you have that necklace the the demon knows where that necklace is and is uh, attracted to that necklace and he tries to follow that said necklace and i've said necklace so many times it doesn't even feel like a real word anymore so that's basically the quick plot. In between that, you get some uh, some drama and some character development. The police officer takes the week off of work to uh, try to find, try to help out the lady to find her sister. And uh, yeah, they 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 never do find the sister, but what they find is demons, occult members. And there's a lot of gunplay in this one. There's a lot, a lot of gunplay. That's also very Texan. Um, <laughs> there's also the characters, most of the characters' drink of choice is a Dr. Pepper, which is probably uh, the most based take of Texas, is Dr. Pepper is uh, one of the greatest of the sodas and uh, I, I I think it's only like in Texas where it's probably mo more popular than any other sodas again I'm not sure I'm not from there so uh, yeah this was a vinegar syndrome release that I bought during their sale 10 for ten dollars and uh, do I regret buying this? Absolutely not. It is a very 80s, it is a kind of low budget, but it's still shot on film, and there's some good atmosphere. Like I said, it does feel like a later 80s Italian film during the last scene, because there's a lot of fog, and the makeup at the end is pretty good. Now, at the beginning, it's pretty slow, most of the kills are off-screen, uh, all we get are basically blood splatters, uh, so, you know, at first, it's a, a, 
I wouldn't call this a slow burn, it, it moves pretty quick, it's just slow to get to the good stuff and finally at the end we start to see more and more uh, monster makeup which looks looks decent, especially for this which I assume had a, a fairly low, low, low budget. So uh, overall it, it looks pretty good. Um, I like the cop character and the, 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 the sister of the lady who was hunting down demons. I guess it, uh, it they they have pretty good chemistry. Um, there's a scene where she uh, she um, the demon arrives to her home and uh, throws down electricity in the police. He passes out. It's a really strange scene with some very rudimentary, you know, lightning effects. And then they wake up and her cat is in the is in the refrigerator, which uh, was. And you could obviously see that it wasn't, you can, it's very obvious that it wasn't a real cat and it's a pretty amateur effect, but it made me giggle because like he's frozen into like a, a, a angry mode cat. Um, and then when we later discover the group that hunts down demons, uh, the film turns into a action horror film and it's honestly the like i said the highlight of this film is definitely the last 20 minutes when it gets very italian-esque the first hour of the film is enjoyable you know the, like i said the characters are not hateable the, there is nothing offensive about the screenwriting but it's nothing special either so it really picks up at the end uh i've not very much left to say it looks pretty good i mean it's vinegar syndrome so yet you, you expect it to look kind of decent it is a 2k transfer of a with the 35 millimeters in 35 millimeter inter negative and there there's a few um bonus features i haven't watched any of them it go it's a, it goes by pretty quickly uh, it's not the worst film i've ever seen this is perfect for a morning watch where you know it's not it's not too boy it's not too slow it's not boring uh, and it gets to the action pretty quickly there are some weird like i said italian-esque moments but overall it's nothing it has nothing to do with uh, the gates of hell or lucio fulci so uh yeah i'd recommend this one give it a watch i'll definitely rewatch it eventually uh, i'll give it a 6.72 out of 10 good movie Watch it.